Well, good morning, friends. It's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and it's Christmas Eve Eve in this Maritime Christmas video. I can't believe it. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Wowzer dowser. It is 10.38 in the morning. I just got done editing yesterday's video. I didn't get it up. The one when I made those cookies and stuff. And I'm just starting this one now. Um, I didn't end up soaking the salt short corned beef ribs last night. And I just talked to my mother-in-law because I got to ask a professional and she knows what she's doing. And sometimes she doesn't do that. So she'll boil it one boil and then strain it after she tastes the water and then boil it again because it's super salty. But she said, make sure you don't get rid of all your salt water because uh, you might need to add it back if you boil all the salt out, if you know what I'm saying. Just a minute, guys. Ooh, the kinja got crowded there for a second. But yeah, you can see some of the salts come out of this, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'll open these up. I don't know if you've ever worked with this stuff before. I don't usually get corned beef because that's expensive, but it was on sale and I got some and I thought it'd be a really nice dinner. This is my teenager's absolute favorite supper, like dinner, he loves it. And I'm hoping to make homemade rolls today. I'm hoping to make gingerbread today. I'm hoping to make this and that and this and that, but we'll see. But I need to get this going first. So I wash my big stock pot. Let's crack these puppies open and we'll take a look at them. Oh, it's a big old bloody bucket. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm going to strain this, rinse it, and drop it in some fresh cold water. And it's still going to be salt. I bet you at the bottom of this bucket there's big rock salt uh, down there. But yeah. Um, where is this made? It's Atlantic Canada. I'll look after I empty it out. But these buckets are awesome to save for other things, for making snow things outside or whatever. They're hard quality uh, buckets. Raw product, keep refrigerated, prepared for Meat Packers Limited, Harbor Drive, Sydney, Cape Breton. Yeah. All right, let me get this uh, strained and rinsed. Nice and meaty, I'm telling you. It's looking good. I'm going to drop this in the pot and open the other one. <clears throat> All right, there we have it. Now, I would like to start working on bread dough right now, but I need to go to town. Evie's coming over for 12.30, so I'd rather go to town now and get that done and over with and then come back and then work on the dough and maybe we'll be here and I won't have to try to sneak around while he's napping or anything. So hopefully it all comes out in the wash, but yeah, I turn this up on high. I'll put a lid on it until it starts to boil. Then I'll turn it down to medium and simmer it a couple hours and we'll taste the broth. If I need to dump a whole bunch off and add a whole bunch of fresh water, but I need to make sure I save some of the salt water. Very important because I don't want to boil all the salt out of the salt meat. All right, guys, it's right at 11-ish. Turn that hot down. <clears throat> I need to get moving. Woo! Oh, the driveway's icy. Is it kind of... <laughs> I'll turn you around, you can see. That's all ice. <laughs> and I got sneaks on. I need some spikes on the bottom of my sneaks. But, yeah. Oh, winter in Nova Scotia. Guys, I got into town. I had to stop and get gas. Gonna go to the dollar store, and every parking lot in town seems like it's jam packed. So, hope the heck I'm not in here forever because I still need to go to Sobeys and probably Walmart. So, we'll see. Jeepers. All right, guys, I just came from Shoppers. I went to Shoppers, then I went to the Dollarama, which took forever. It's 10 after 1 or 10 after 12. My clock still hasn't been changed. Just at the intersection, I need to stop to Sobeys. And uh, then I'll probably head out. I think Medea's in town. I'm not sure if I'm going to meet her or still stop out to her house to get Evie. We'll see, but I'll let you know. At Sobeys now. Oh, it's like totally packed everywhere. It's crazy, crazy, but it's that time of year. All right, we're home. Hip hip hooray. I got Evie. Oh gosh, I better not slip and fall. Jeepers, creepers, just like a skating rink. There he is. Um, <laughs> All right, guys, it's week three. I've been home for a few minutes. I did a total speed clean on my kitchen. Evie's here. I put some cartoons on for him. My husband's gone with Misha and Mays, and this has been simmering for a couple of hours. So I'm just going to taste the broth. Oh yeah, that's pretty salty, salty, salty. I'm gonna start the dishwasher, but I'm going to uh, 
strain this, but I'm going to reserve some of the liquid that's in here and then fill this pot up with some fresh water and put the meat back in and uh, yeah, simmer that a little longer while I get the veggies prepped, but I want to get that dough going. Uh, so yeah, let me get set up for what I'm going to do next and I'll be back. All right, I took out all the ribs and stuff. doesn't look pretty, but it sure is tasty. Um, I reserved eight cups of the salty liquid. I'm going to ditch this and fill it up with fresh water and then put the ribs back in it. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, friends, Evie is right underneath of you. You better not touch that or I'm going to poke you. Oh, oh. I put, uh, I'm starting on those rolls. And I got this recipe from Chris Cooks for you too. It's the best dinner rolls I've ever had. I gotta move him, I'm scared he's gonna knock you over. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Oh, you're stinky. You must have dropped a bomb. I'll have to change it in a minute. There. Yeah, I will put her link down below. She has so many real food recipes and no joke, this is the best roll recipe I've ever had. And I, got, I did get raves about it at uh, Thanksgiving fantastic anyways in her video she doubles the recipe yeah. and that's what I'm doing because we're gonna have rolls tonight and we'll probably have some for Christmas dinner if they don't get eaten up by then and she used those the packs of active dry yeast I have like I buy it in bulk and put it in my freezer so that's equivalent to four and a half teaspoons of yeast it's a lot of yeast but it's a lot of rolls and I put oh, yeah. uh, half a cup Oh, where did I put that? Yeah, half a cup of warm water in here. I put a little pinch of sugar too. I find that helps the yeast. It feeds it. You stir it up to, you know, make sure that it... Evie Oliver Gerald. Skedaddle. Um, to make sure it dissolves and stuff. And I, I find it helps feed it. So this has been resting for about 10 minutes over on the stove close to that little dinner boiling. Uh, so now what I'm going to do... Well... This was, I gotta look here. I had to look up her video again. I had this recipe written down. I gotta write it in my book because I couldn't remember. This is two cups of hot water. I just did it in the microwave, or hot milk. Uh, like I, I made it really hot. And then uh, she said one stick of butter, which is equivalent to half a cup of butter. Uh, you put it in here and uh, let it sit. So, he's sitting off and pushing around a little dump truck. Eddie, you better watch what you're doing, bub. You watch what you're doing. So here I have two-thirds cup of just regular white sugar. And you better watch that chair. I'm just going to put it in that milk, stir it up, let it dissolve, do its thing. I... Here. This is a really simple, straightforward recipe, and you guys really got to check her out. She has so many good recipes. She really does. Um, yeah, I have two eggs here. We're going to add after. Put your bottle right there. I have eight cups of flour, and I put two teaspoons of salt just in there. So, yeah, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, right now, this is yeah that's still still hot I think I'm gonna bring this over to the to the stand mixer Cornelius over there and start adding flour slowly and I'm gonna whisk my eggs I heard a video down below in the description she has it written down for a single recipe but I don't do things in single batches even on a regular day so yeah once I get some flour added to that uh, just a, a little bit of flour I'm gonna add the liquid and then we'll add the eggs I just don't want to put the eggs in with the hot milk right away because I don't want them to cook so I'll bring you back and I'll show you what that looks like Okay, it's slowly coming together. I added the eggs. I added the liquid. I still have a bit of flour here to add, just bit by bit. 
and we're gonna let it knead. I almost had another instant. I only put half a cup of butter in there and I'm doing a double recipe so I need to melt another half a cup of butter to add to it. So that's what I'm doing now and I'm just gonna add to, add to it a little late but it's still gonna be added. Here's the dough ball. I hope to heck I didn't make that butter too hot for it to kill the yeast but it wasn't all melted, like part of it was melted, and then I tried to add it in. It didn't get in really good, so I put it on the table and kneaded it for a few minutes. I sprayed this bowl. I'm going to cover it with saran wrap and then cover it with a towel and keep it here in the kitchen because it's warm in here. And we're going to let it rise for at least an hour till it about doubles its size. So I'm going to clean up this mess. Then I'm going to start prepping these vegetables for the boiled dinner. But first, I got a stink bomb to take care of. All right, I got these 50% off, I don't know, last week sometime. I've kept them cool, they're good. There's a little baby cabbage in there. Carrots, a couple turnips. I'll probably peel some potatoes to go on with it. That's a parsnip, I believe. And I'm just gonna start chopping this, peeling it, and uh, I'm just gonna throw it in here. That's what those ribs were sitting in. It's fine, they were cooked and then we're gonna add it to the boiled dinner. Great, I got everything all sliced and diced and good to go. I was gonna peel potatoes, but I have two like half bags of those little baby potatoes. I've never put little baby potatoes in a boiled dinner, but I'm doing it today so I can use these two up but my pot's only so big so I might end up taking the ribs out and then boiling the potatoes and vegetables well I'll put those in first because they take a little longer to cook than these and uh, then we can put it all together when it's time to eat on a platter or something like that but yeah I'm just gonna rinse these so they'll be ready to go oh and I did two turnips but I didn't do four because I just there's not enough room and I got lots of other stuff to go in there so yeah Right, I just tasted that broth again, and it's not very salty, so I'm glad I saved that. I'm going to be adding that to this pot. If, I'll take the ribs out here shortly and um, probably scoop some of this water out and add that back in because that's super salty because you do want it to be a salt mi meal. Like, it's not something you'd eat every day, but <laughs> yeah, it's not much salt in there now. Guys, it's quarter after three. I just got done laying Evie down for a nap. I had to go down to the store to get him some milk. And we're going to check that dough, and I need to take the ribs out of the pot and put those vegetables in, so let me get started. just scooped out some of that water because I know I'm gonna, that's not going to be enough water for everything, so I'm going to dump that. Well, actually, I'll dump the vegetables in first, then I'll dump that, and uh, we'll see if I need to add any more of that to cover the vegetables. No, I don't think I'll need any more water. Um, yeah, I didn't like dice up the carrots or anything. That's just nice big chunks. So I'm going to turn this on to boil and in about a half hour. I'll throw those potatoes in. I'm not going to dump that water for now until, uh, till near the end. So I know that there's enough, but now I'm going to get that dough out of the oven. I'll turn that back up and we'll take a look at that. All right, friends. I got, uh, I got out my big rectangular turkey roaster and sprayed the heck out of it with some cooking spray. This has risen nicely. I had just set it in the oven with just the oven light on. Like I didn't turn the oven on, just the oven light. And yeah, I gotta take my ring off. I just washed my hands. So we're gonna just deflate it. Oh, it smells so good. I love working with dough. And it's nice and warm. So, yeah, that butter mustn't have hurt it, which is good. Beautiful. Yeah. Actually, I want to take a picture of that. It's so beautiful. I'll be right back. Pretty, pretty. Oh, yes. I'm going to put some flour on the table and knead it a little bit and then cut it up and make little dough balls.
there's that first pan. I had a couple of extra that don't fit, so when I get another pan out, we'll see. But that's the whole thing, and we're going to cover this with a ceram and a towel and put it in the oven with the light on for at least a half hour so they double them si their sizes. But now i got to work with the other half, and I've got to find a pan or pans that they're going to fit. Guys, I got it all rolled. I took those two straggle ones there and put them in here. So, yeah, I just used another turkey roaster. I've never done rolls in a big turkey roaster like this, except for this rectangle one, but I don't see why it won't work. So I'm going to put them in the oven and let them rise for at least at least a half hour. But now i got to clean up this mess. Okay, this is bubbling along, so I rinsed, washed those potatoes. I'm going to drop them in now because this has been going for about a half hour. And, uh, yeah, we'll let these go for a while. Well, I'm just waiting for those rolls to rise. I was thinking I was going to make gingerbread, like the actual bread, not gingerbread cookies. And it calls for a half a teaspoon of cloves, and I don't have cloves. So when I bring Evie home tonight for 6.30, I'm going to go in and pick some cloves up. It calls for, I have the website where I got this recipe from. I forget right off the top of my head, but I'll put it down below if I do it today. If I don't, I'll do it tomorrow. But uh, Soft butter, brown sugar, molasses, one egg, vanilla, flour, baking soda, cinnamon, ginger, and cloves. And salt and boiling water. <laughs> it doesn't seem hard to make at all. I just want to make sure I have everything. I would double this recipe for sure because it's half a cup of soft butter, half a cup of brown sugar, tightly packed, one cup of molasses, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, two and a half cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of uh, cinnamon, one teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of cloves three-fourths teaspoon of salt and one cup of boiling water but I'm gonna double it I want to make sure I follow the recipe to the tea and uh, that way hopefully I wouldn't mess up I'm going to in just a minute you can put the butter on it yeah but just a second these have been in the oven with the light on for about 40 minutes and maybe I had them a little too far apart but I'm still gonna bake them just like this they will be fine I baked buns not this recipe like this spaced apart they'll still be good they will still be good I'm preheating the oven to 375 um, and Misha is going to glaze these carefully you don't need to put a whole bunch on you don't push down hard on the buns um, she'll glaze them with butter and then we'll stick yeah do this pan first and I'll get it in the oven and then you can do the other two pans so I'll get you guys set up and you can see what she's doing so yeah I just melted some over there in the microwave and just one of those bristly brushes but while she's doing that I just dumped the uh, corned beef back in here I I didn't mean to shut it right off put it on low just so the meat heats up again because the vegetables are all cooked um, well 98% cooked and this way the meat can heat up again and then I'll present it I'm gonna dig out my turkey platter if it's easy to find and I'll have it like a buffet style if I can and they'll have fresh baked rolls right out of the oven to go along with their corned beef uh, salt dinner so yeah exciting All right, they're all good. We bake these uh, for 17 to 18 minutes at the most. So I'm going to do it halfway and flip it around just because my oven's funny that way. And then I'll just uh, finish up the baking process and we'll take a good gander at it. And it's going to smell heavenly in here, don't you think, Mish? Mm -hmm. Are you going to eat boiled dinner or rolls? Buns. Mm -hmm buns and she's just easy Misha don't push down on them you don't don't push down on them just easy that's good that's good you just need a little gla glaze 
Right, so behind the scenes I've been doing laundry all day. Got another load of towels to hang up. I rotated that uh, pan of buns around, put it in for another nine minutes. The boiled dinner shut off. I'm going to get it plated here shortly and uh, we'll take those buns out, glaze them with butter and ring the dinner bell. So I'll be back. All right, I got out my turkey roaster, rinsed it, wiped it, dried it. It's ready to go. I'm going to put the corned beef in the middle and the vegetables all around it, I'm thinking, so the kids can pick what they want. There's one minute left for those first rolls. We'll see how they turned out. And then I got those other pans to do, but I'll ring the dinner bell at least when one pan is done. And yeah, I'll get some fresh butter out. That's I'm going to glaze the buns again with that. And uh, I'll get a fresh thing of butter out if they want to uh, butter their bun. But we'll see. Oh, there it is. All right, guys, the first batch is out. And holy schmoly, it smells great. I just glazed it with butter. And I'm going to let it rest for a little bit. I didn't even try to poke underneath to make sure that it's good underneath. As long as it's not burnt. No, they're good. They're good. Yeah, they're good. And I put all that corned beef. There's a lot more than it looks. <laughs> but I put the veg um, yeah vegetables all around it. So, yeah, it's going to be good. Right, I just took some out. Really, it's only been a minute or so. But I was just wanted to make sure they're not keep cooking because it's nice and brown. It's not burnt or anything. Ooh, they're hot. They're nice and soft. Oh, delicious. One's in the corner yet. Not burnt, just brown. Um, yeah, I just didn't want the pot, the pan to keep baking them on the bottom so they get burnt on the bottom. Um, I'm going to keep a closer eye on the other one. Like I said, these aren't ruined or anything. I just want to make sure. All right, guys, I got stuff laid out. There was a little bit of that veggie tray left. Celery's completely gone. The kids love celery. They do. So I'm just setting that out with it. Um, the corned beef and vegetables, the fresh made rolls. I just rotated that second pan around. There's a little butter here. I have another dish over there. Uh, plates forks. I'm going to ring the dinner bell. They can come and eat because they're ravenous right now. And uh, I've just got to get some tongs for there and they can pick what vegetables they want because some of them like all the vegetables, some of them don't. But it can be supplemented with the veggie tray. So it's all good. guys that second pan is out and it looks wonderful wonderful but the kids all got their plates I was just doing up a plate for my husband he takes apple cider vinegar on top of this and my teenager hasn't come down yet because he will massacre this meal he absolutely will I put a little bit of the drippings like the broth from the stock pot on he'll put apple cider vinegar on it and the buns are still hot yeah, I'll bring it out. So, that's our boiled dinner. Guys, well, I'm in the superstore. I just came from uh, the Dollarama. That place was bananas. But I need to come here and get some lasagna stuff. 
I want to see if hamburgers on sale and some lasagna noodles. I got cheese at home, but I think I'm going to get some uh, uh, cottage cheese. I don't always put that in my lasagna, but my dad loves it. And I'll probably end up doing two lasagnas. So one with cottage cheese and one without. And yeah, just to get out of the house a minute. See, this is the clearance rack. But oftentimes you find stuff, like you can see the salads and stuff, all marked down good. I gotta resist though. I'm on a mission to get what I'm getting. And yeah, that's it. But it's so tempting sometimes. Like the bakery always has a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah. And I'm sure there'll be lots tomorrow, but since it'll be closed on Christmas. Oh, look at those. Those look delicious. But we'll go see. <clears throat> and I seen Dad when I walked in here. He was just going on his way out. I invited him out for lasagna, but he probably won't come, but he might. You never know. He's coming out Christmas anyways. What's that? Yeah. I don't know. Well, he, I forget if I told you, he already cooked a turkey today. He called me this afternoon and he's got done cooking the Christmas turkey and he was going to debone it and save the bones for me and uh, the broth for me and he'll bring it out Christmas morning. And, uh, oh, I was going to look for hamburger. So it'll be, I'll be ready and I'll just heat it up probably in a slow cooker or something. Oh gosh, it's probably not on sale. Yeah, 1016. That's extra lean. That's all the hamburger I see. Ground turkey, 50% off. No, thank you. <clears throat> no, I don't see it anywhere else. I'm going to have to get it. That one's 939. Yeah, well, it is Christmas Eve and I need it. And I'm not going to go and hunt, search for other stuff, so. Yeah, the store isn't too busy like it was this morning when I came. I have a pebble in my sneaker. It's been there all day, and I haven't taken it out. It just jarred loose again. Now I can feel it. Oh, yes. <clears throat> there will be lots of sales tomorrow or the day after Christmas, I'm sure. But... They're playing Christmas music. I don't know if you can hear it. But I'm coming up to where the cottage cheese is. And we'll see. Mally wants to do those pretzel, dip pretzels, crushed candy cane thing I was telling you about yesterday. Oh, cottage cheese. Oops. $3.99. No name cottage cheese. <clears throat> Well, what is that? How much is that? Scott, see, the Scott's Burn is $5.49. The No Name is $3.99, which is still expensive, but I'm getting the No Name. Yeah. And I got cheese at home, so I want to get a big thing of eggs, but I might get that at Walmart. I'm going to go over there next. And, yeah. Anyways, I'll check back in a little bit. I'm just taking my time. Walking off that boiled dinner. I didn't have a great big plate, but I did have a plate. Totally not keto, but it is Christmas Eve Eve. What you gonna do? So, this is where I'd buy, see, a bag, a big bag of frozen corn that I could can up. It's regular $5.69. I wait till it gets down to like $3.99 before I buy a few bags and can it up. That's just my my way of doing things. And in here they always have like these carts in the middle of this aisle. Things 50% off. Ah, regular $4.99, half price. Quinoa flour. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'll see. I'm at the big W now. 
I'm just going to go in and take a quick little peek because I don't want to go to any stores tomorrow. I actually stopped at one store to get a gift certificate for somebody. But the person, just a young girl, she wasn't sure if they do gift certificates. She said, we used to, but the boss will be in tomorrow all day till 5. So if I happen to come into town tomorrow, I'll stop. But if not, it's not the end of the world. It's all good. So, yeah, it's getting colder. It wasn't too cold today, but it's getting colder out now. We haven't had a fire in the stove all day long. But we're going to have to uh, get one going for sure. Anyways, I'll get a cart. Hopefully I don't fill it up all the way. But, yeah, I like the after Christmas specials or deals. Because I can get a lot of good stuff then. Picking up a few things. And I just thought I'd get Evie a pair of pajamas. But, look at this little teeny tiny preemie. Oh my goodness. Hard to believe babies are that small. So cute. Alright guys, well it's 9.50. I've been back for a while. I just edited this video up until now. I just wanted to put an ending on it. Didn't get to that gingerbread. Totally forgot the cloves and totally forgot the lasagna noodles. Ding bat. So I don't know if I'm going to go to town tomorrow. If I don't go, I'm going to send my husband in to get some oven ready lasagna noodles in the morning. Yeah, it happens happens to the best of us. You go in for one thing, completely forget about it, and come out with a bunch of other stuff. Um, I got those two hamburgers. I got the cottage cheese. And at Walmart, I got a couple of things. Gifts for uh, stocking stuffers for a couple people. So, yeah, I wasn't really going to show you that, just in case, just in case. But, yeah, I got some more presents to wrap tonight. Little things. Little things. I bought some stuff today for Dad. And I meant to show you that today. I bought him one of those, because um, I know he doesn't really watch these videos, but one of those shaving brushes, you know, it's just like a shaving brush. And I got him some shaving cream that's in a, it looks like a toothpaste tube. That's the kind he likes to use. I got him a new razor. I got him some socks, some gloves, a hat. I have a big jar of peanuts here. What else did I get him? I can't remember. A few other things. You know, just manly things. You should, you should have... Oh, I got him a cap gun uh, from the dollar store and some caps. I'm going to load it and wrap it up and pat. Uh, so when he opens it, he's he's a really funny guy. I I know you might not get that sense from him, but he's really funny. Like likes tricks and stuff. So when he opens it, he'll fire it off and probably scare everybody. And then everybody will have a good laugh. It'll be funny. That's my plan, anyways. Um, yeah, so I hope you liked hanging out with me today. Those rolls hopefully will last till Christmas dinner. The turkey's all done. I just need to work tomorrow. Mally's going to do those pretzel pretzels dipped in chocolate and sprinkled with candy canes. I want to try to do that gingerbread. I want to try to do caramel popcorn balls. I've never made caramel popcorn, but I've looked at some videos on how to do it. And my husband got me a popcorn maker for Christmas, like an early Christmas present. I haven't even opened it yet. So I'll try to do that. So tomorrow evening, being Christmas Eve, uh, we like to watch a movie as a family and, you know, just hang out and all that kind of stuff. And they can have some popcorn balls and chocolate-covered uh, pretzels, white chocolate-covered pretzels, and lasagna for supper and... I still have a cheese log in the fridge. I can do that with some crackers and just whatever, whatever. But I'll bring you guys along too if you want to hang out. But yeah, anyways, the leftover of that boiled dinner I put back in the stock pot with the rest of the broth and the other vegetables I didn't put on the platter. I'm putting a, a lid on it and putting it out in the porch because I can't put that in the fridge. And there's enough there for another meal tomorrow if um, somebody wants. Misha, you're supposed to be in bed. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah. What's tomorrow? Christmas Eve. Mm. So are you going to be good? Yeah. Oh, uh, I hope so. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Well, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay, too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So I got to... Put this little monkey to bed because uh, 
she's just on pins and needles excited for tomorrow and yeah she was uh, has a lot to do tomorrow too to get a room to rights right <laughs> yeah yeah all right guys with that I'll say have a good night or have a good morning and I will see you tomorrow bye boink